This week, we share more of the amazing wonders that the Galapagos has to offer. We sail to the next enchanted island, encounter boat problems, introduce you to some of the friendly locals, and unfortunately have some sad goodbyes. Welcome to the story of three sailors taking the long way home to Australia on a 38-foot boat called Finding Avalon. We're going to the island of Isabella. Last week I celebrated my birthday in paradise, shared some awesome waves together, and indulged in a wildlife feast. So Alexa went on a date last night. We dropped her off. Well, actually, someone came round on a kayak last night to the boat and we sussed him out. We drank some honey rum with him and then he introduced us to the local drink, Kanya, which is basically alcohol made from sugar and it's 40% and it's lethal. And uh, yeah, he is really nice. Everyone here doesn't really have a name, they just have nicknames. And his name was Tunnels. <laughs> 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 Which we'll explain later. Um, and uh, Alexa said she's got some funny stories from, from her dreamboat days. So we thought we'd, we'd let you join. Um, yeah, so we went on the kayak to like the lagoon and saw yeah. the little penguins and they were asleep and then just asleep standing up like this. And then the, we couldn't see them, obviously, it was dark. And the blue-footed boobies, they're like, I'm talking like with this close, like the, the kayak's touching them up and they're there. Because obviously he speaks absolutely zero English in my experience. But he speaks penguin. <laughs> but he speaks penguin. So he started making the penguin noises and the penguins would all like respond back. So it was pretty, pretty cool. And then, then we get to the beach by the dock and we're, we're beaching the kayak and I'm like, oh God, what's going on here? I, didn't, I, don't, think I, I don't think I signed up for a land mission. Gets good. So then... <laughs> So then we're kind of like sitting there and I'm like, all right, cool. Wait. Um, Zanthi's like on the radio, like, red fox, red fox. <laughs> this is Eagle One, Eagle One, <laughs> do you copy? I'm like, Eagle One, I'm fine, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm looking at the bioluminescence. Back yeah. in 20 minutos, 20 minutes. <laughs> Just trying to like. I've got 20 minutes to make And he's like, salsa dancing? You like salsa and I'm like oh god no don't make me dance and he puts really loud music on his phone and puts his phone down and he's like come here one two three four five one two and I'm like so awkward I'm like I'm not really I'm not I'm not into this like and how do I say that in Spanish I can't so I'm like giggling my head off um <laughs> sipping on this like you're in a specially giggly mood 70 percent alcohol or something <laughs> and and then that's what like like kiss me so <laughs> we, had a, we had a kiss and, and then, then and then he was like yeah twirling me around i'm like really not into it don't that's like that's so romantic dancing. being twirled around under the moon next like, to a sea next to a sea lion <laughs> And um, yeah, I just found the whole thing really funny. Jackson, um, can we recreate this scene? By the way, it's my dream. Thanks, Ben. So then he takes me back in the kayak, buy more penguins, and then get to the back of the boat. And yeah, I'm sure he's just really confused, like, if he's coming on the boat yeah. or not. And I was like, oh. I did actually this morning, I did go and check whether there was a kayak tied up to the boat. <laughs> I'm always up for, um, yeah, always up for saying yes to little adventures. Oh, you certainly are. It's always good So fun. we will see what happens. Watch this space. Good morning. We good saved morning. the best of Isabella till last. Well, Meet our guide. His name is Almost far. Dead because he spent six months in a coma after being hit in the head with a coconut tree. And he's loyal captain, Captain Danger. 
The lava tunnels are more than one kilometre in length and were formed when the outside skin of a molten lava flow solidified. We have never experienced such an abundant diversity of wildlife in one small place. These were the biggest green sea turtles we've ever seen and they are all hanging out there because it was the mating season. All of the lava tunnels were packed with different species of shark and couldn't give a care in the world of us diving around them. And if you had the patience and looked closely, there were some very small animals to be found along the way. The tunnel site also gave us the perfect opportunity for some really cool free diving. Meet the blue-footed boobies of the Galapagos. Because of the benzo carotene and the sardines they feed on, blue-footed boobies are true to their name. And then finally, we found what I'd been looking for. Penguins. After indulging in our wildlife feast, it was now up to Captain Danger to guide us back out the crazy pass. We waited for about 20 minutes for a break in the waves and then Captain Danger sent it over shallow reef in between two breaking waves. And boy was it worth it, we arrived in absolute paradise. Unfortunately, it was time to leave one of the best anchorages we've ever experienced. Head to the next island.
grass down to a field of green. It's the greatest sight we ever see. It's probably on that. We're now up to about 25. Maybe it's going to run up. 0.5. Still takes time. Pretty good. Almost caught a fish. Really? Yeah, but he got off. He got off. Did sound big? Did feel big? Um, yeah, like the drag went off and stuff, and then it just, like, we lost it before I even got to the rod. Did um, the lure stay? Oh, thank goodness. Any other events on your watch? Nah, just watched some David out of Brock. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you learn from old Davy boy? Learning about the high seas. Oh, you need to know about that. And the desert and grassland. In the last 100 years, tiger populations in India have declined by 96%. Oh, roll! And that's owing to human activity? Yeah. Oh, and then there was this, like, this little horse? that lives in Mongolia and 25 years ago they were extinct in the wild but there was six horses left in captivity so they bred them and then released them back into the wild and now there's 200 in the wild. And as a biologist I'm going to comment and say that's really rare to have such a small population form a healthy population. When a population of an animal gets to a certain number, it normally just spirals down because of interbreeding and all the rest just creates all deformities and mutations and messy stuff. So good for the little Mongolian horse and good for David Attenborough. Thank you for pumping out such amazingness for all of us to watch. Love you, Davey. All right. We are in... San Cristobal. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> All right, take two. We are in Santa Cruz. Here we go. Move your knee. Um, so our sticky windless situation is still occurring, it's definitely at worse. It just seems to be like not engaging or slipping when we're letting that chain out. It obviously gets, it's fine once there's pressure on the chain, like once the anchor's set and there's like tension against it, but it's really hard when there is no pressure on it. So yeah. The girls are just doing their best with the winch handle to give it a helping hand. I have to do a little bit of internet research again and have a go and try to fix it. After making sure Avalon was safe and sound, it was time to explore the town. And we met another local Penguin communicator. Meet George. He's a naturalist guide here in the Galapagos. His nickname is Cookie. And we still don't know why, but he had lots to teach us about the natural wonders of the Galapagos. And maybe share a few of his thoughts on how we could do better. That's how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they cannot do it. No, they will fall. Really? They have to look, 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 reach, reach, reach. Calculate. <laughs> it takes them a really long time to move. I know. Yeah, yeah. right. It's bubbles. Yeah. And bubbles they sound like... She's <laughs> Hablas pinguino. He speaks good penguin. That's this is good. a running trait in the um, in the Galapagos that we need that you all speak penguin. Oh. We've seen it. Before. I love penguins, huh? It's crazy to have he a loves penguin here penguins. and behind a penguin cactus. Yeah. So obviously the tourism has just gone crazy. Yeah. 
400,000 per year, more or less. Wow. More or less, half a million, more or less. It's an average. Okay. And then what do you think about that impact on the wildlife? Have you seen the wildlife change a lot? Yes, yes. We used to have a, like a, lots of animals around this place. Iguanas, lions, I don't know, more animals. And now they have moved. I don't know where they are. I miss I miss the lions around here. I miss iguanas in the street. Uh, what else? It was more like San Cristobal in the dock. Yeah, the yeah, more like San Cristobal. But San Cristobal way, it was more. Was San Cristobal yeah. now is a little bit of the lions. Before yeah, yeah. you did not have room to walk. Really? It was all over, mm. like everywhere, like wow. crazy. That was incredible. Well, Isabella, the same. And is the population of sea lions in decline, or you think they just moved no, on to other areas? No, no, they, they uh, now, uh, well, every single species here in Galapagos because human beings mm. have decreased the population of all species. Of all species. Yeah. But now we're trying to. Okay, this is not a good topic. Conservation at all. I don't like to talk about conservation. Mm -hmm. I use shampoo and the other end, so I'm not cons Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, we're trying to help, but I don't think uh, it's a good help and it's not enough help mm -hmm. yet. You have to leave the reality. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. You cannot just take care of the environment. Yeah. There are people living here. People who want to eat, that need to eat, that need to live, that need, mm. you know, to grow. So, National Galapagos National Park is not doing a, a good job. I'm sorry. I take this. I take this name because uh, I've seen too many. Well, I shouldn't talk, but you know, let me tell you. You find the last species. You think it's the last species in this place no. around the world? Oh my god, the last tortoises of this species! Let's take care of you! Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This guy has a hundred years living but without your help. Yeah. He doesn't need help. Yeah. yeah. You can conserve them but the real and the natural habitat. Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid to see you smile for too long. Finally, it was time to experience some of the local cuisine and celebrate Frey's yeah, last night. Oh, mate, this I is fun. Oh, you can choose yeah. your feet. Like I feel like doing a big fat loop. Doing a loop, alright? Yeah. You want to see yeah. every menu? No, I don't want to see every menu. I want to eat every fish. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Oh, yeah. This is a place, uh, this girl is from Manabi, the coast of Ecuador. And they have one of the best, uh, how do you say, season, uh, seasoning? Seasoning of Ecuador. One of the best, not so the best. Good fish here? But yes, so. Okay, well, yeah. And they are also from here. Okay. Okay. What's been your favorite food in the Galapagos, Freya? Oh, last night. Last night. Last night we had the different types of fish. I think actually we had the um, mini squid or octopus. Yeah. 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 Garlic octopus. Garlic. I thought the correct answer would be plantain. 
Oh yeah. Well, I kind of overdid myself with plantain. I you say reckon? That. You oh, reckon? I know. I love the plantain. I mean, in England, you only get the dried banana. <laughs> I'll be back. See you. Body better. Yeah. Bye bye, Preppy. Press the gas. There was nothing I could do. I drove a little fast. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for part one of our Pacific Crossing as we explore it in the day in the life of each of our crew members.